Hello all, my name is Nathan Mangala and I scored 99.89 in CAT 2022. My sections were in VRC 97.82, in LRDI 99.81 and in QA 99.61. So today I will be sharing uh, my strategy and my process of analysis of the mock test series. Uh, I took around 100 mocks and in which 60 were the full length and the proctored mocks that were of the various institutes and 40 marks included my previous year papers and sectional test and other test series uh, that I didn't record but I just gave for my practice sessions. So yeah, I would be sharing my screen to show you the this one, this one, mock starts. So yeah, so I hope you are able to see my screen. So. This was my actual I maintained during my preparation. So SIM card number, VRC, LIDI, QA, and overall. So I maintained three tables. Table one shows the percentile that I scored in sections and overall. Table two shows my raw scores in the sections. So and the table three shows the deficiency part, I would say. Uh deficiency would mean I mean that are this target. I uh, got approx of 120 marks. So for that 120 marks, I had to have 40, 40, 40 in each sections. And so I weighted every target to a plus five. So 37, 42 and 54. And then I maintained how much I lagged in that vertical sections. So this was my, and this was an overall score lag according to me. And this was an exercise that I did because of the thing that I knew that for a particular benchmark, uh, CAT 2021, I won't be able to get calls from ABC. So this was purely for that purpose. The main purpose of this table was this color schema, red, yellow, green. So I had red mark for the section that is for below 95 percentile. So you can see all the red have 95 percentile below and then yellow shows me the sections, the tiles that were more than 90 but below than 95. So this are the yellow colors and the green colors are more than 95. So, but this translated in my overall 97 benchmark. So the percentile that are less than 97 are in red mark. The percentile data above 97 but below 99 so that's are in the yellow mark so 99 also stands yellow i don't know why but it's okay and above 99 it's overall green mark so i had this aim of 99.9 you can say and i score 99.89 that's very much i would say a process that i had a target in my mind and so the third thing i did was I maintained a rank info. So you can see 156, 392, 50, and the 140. So I had maintained this Kraku. This one was a Kraku one. And CL has two test series. So prime marks and the CDC marks. So I did all the process same of the three of the Excel sheets. My purpose was to have this data because the first mock was given in I would say June or July but this ended in November and all. So I was able to record my program that I am performing very bad at VRC parts. I was scoring okay in LIDA part and in QA. So the rank funda is in the prime mocks, CL mocks and the cracker mocks they are given by less number of candidates uh, when compared to IMS. So I used to compare where I stand with the rank purpose and so this was my just the data of my scores so this i would now i would like to show you my other excel sheet that contains a more comprehensive info and right this yeah so this one so let's uh QA is going to start with qa only so so you can say uh, this one number of questions, same card 3, 4, 5, 6, and till 15. So I marked this minus 1, 0, or 3. So I had this tile number. So 3 stands for a correct, 0 stands for unattempted, 
and minus one stands for attempted, but I got it wrong. So according to this number, I had marked some some names. You can say careless error, lack of time, correct. So what is it? So I bifurcated my this understanding in seven parts. So I would show you that thing. So correct. So you can see seven part. So correct means I knew the answer. I knew the questions and I did well and I would able to solve it at any point of time in my life. So that stands for a correct part. Understanding is I read the question, but I'm not able to understand it, which formula to apply, what is the concept behind it, what is what needs to be done. So that's why understanding value questions. Concept issues, I able to understand the question. That this was the question and I had to find this. But how to find it, I didn't know the concept. For example, uh, I have to find how much so I would uh so so whatever I was sorry I was concept issues so there was one concept that I was not very familiar with so given a diagram uh, so there was a triangle given with coordinates so I have to find out how many integer coordinates lie inside that triangle so I was very clueless about it so I left to the question but I then Google it out and find out the sources where it was given so that's a concept issue. Application is I knew the formula, I knew how to apply it, and I applied the formula and did the answer correct. But that was a wrong answer because only formulas don't generate a good answer, correct answer. So that is application that I knew the formula, but I was not able to apply correctly and I was not able to comprehend what needs to be done with that formula. So that's the application error. So careless error transformed to my silly mistakes. Silly mistake can be anything like you. Reading mistake, example, there are 20 mangoes even, but in the calculation, you take 25 mangoes. So mm -hmm. profit loss, you have to find the profit, but you find the selling price and mark the answer. So that's very much a silly mistake and very, I would say, uh, I would say I don't have any words, but it's very much dull mistake to be ponder about it. And the last step is I solved the question. I solved the question correctly and I got answer uh, 10. But to my the to my too much talented nerves, mark the answer five. And this generated my plus three marks to minus one. So this was my last step of errors. Lack of time basically that I spent most of the time in the other question that I used to left two or three questions in my fall of the 22 set. So this means I could have left some easy question in that two to three question, which could have maximum my score. So these are my seven categories. You can say sub -trishi. I would call it sub -trishi. So this I corrected and all this thing. So I would like to show something more. I had added comments in this type of Excel to make myself comfortable that what I have been doing and what needs to be done. So you can see concept issues. So this one concept issue, circular. So this means I was very weak in circular motion in this concept, concept issues. PNC. So I was not very well versed with PNC part. So are there another concept issues? So this was concept issue. So revise. So I had to revise. Like I marked it wrong. So so these are my small small. So I can say binary. I didn't know how to apply it. So this is a KLS error. So correct one. So I did find it. Key what I need to do and all. So this was my just about it. And more of the thing I would say. This one, huh? Also, uh, the third thing I did was I got a time. You can see I spent 18 minutes out of 40 minutes on this specific uh, section and generated. So my 22 minutes went in vain. So I could have utilized the 22 minutes in some other activity and could have generated more of the answers, but that was not an issue. So 27 minutes, 90 minutes, 30 minutes. So this may not be a preference, but it was my preference because I wanted to have this accuracy while mode that I will make accuracy my prime thing in my QA part. So that helped me to maximize my attempts in limited time. So I should record my times also. So timestamps you can say. And last thing I should record um, in, I would say in, in English format, keyboard edit. So SimCat 5, we said 20 minutes. So SimCat 5, you can say, SimCat 5 M part. So this is SimCat 5 and M part. Na? So yeah, LM part. So you can see here. Yeah, so see here. So 20 correct. So I would say 20 minutes I go with the correct answer and 20 minutes wasted. 
So 20 minutes, it's very much time. I would say half the paper. So need to utilize that thing. So, and you can see here then easy QA, easy QA. So sim can nine and 10. So I pretty sure I scored more than expected. Nine, 10, this one are there. So yeah, 41, 59. So, so you can see it's very much high score, I would say. Uh, not which so this so I was not very overwhelmed this score because I knew the particular QA was easy so this score need to be there if I am preparing very well so and do, do this thing so yeah this was my QA part and let's come on the VRC so VRC was not my cup of tea and VRC is what I struggled very much in my preparation but I made sure that I analyze it thoroughly and made this excel again so in this thing i maintained this genre thing so rcs are can be of different genres in according to me they can be informative they can be scientific they can be literature heavy they can be i would say uh, vocab heavy vocab means uh, they can be jargons that i would not comfortable so for example i would like to show so yeah first i would tell you what i did so i maintained this score sheet of every RCs. So I scored zero marks in first RCs, second RC, 12 marks. So it shows that I was able to understand second RC, but was not very well versed with RC1 and RC4. So what I need to do with RC1 and RC4, I had to visit it. And what I had to do after visiting it, attempt again. And if I was not able to attempt it again correctly, then I used to answer. I used to go to answer that what the teacher is saying and what I missed it and what should I do to improve it and i used to write the what is the so this i see you can see here so i had written this comment this had confusing options so this had very close option according to me and uh, i worked upon it to eliminate the what was the closeness between the option and how can eliminate that particular option so and so again so philosophy english ai fairness so these all are the topics that came in simcats and mossy fish so fish, fish, uh, not fish, but acquiring passage came in my set also in my actual card. So you can see here done and nine marks were there. So <laughs> I was able to be able to understand it. And I know this was my strength, the scientific topics. So I used to attempt it. So you can see any scientific topic would be my strength in the all thing. And this was my tip for the VRC part. And so, and again, I wrote this in the format of the writing that Simca did two hours is very understandable. VA was okay. So these are my notes that I penned around it. And VRC, I would say more of my analysis was that I was very good in comprehending RCs part. So what I focused on to have the accuracy in RCs. So you can say, you can see 11 marks, 40 marks, 20 marks. So till Simca 10, it was okay, 20 marks. But then I translated and I would say what is my last course in my last 15, 14. So you can see 25 marks and 16 marks. So I was, it is for my strategy that I used to give more time to RCs, not to the, uh, I would say VA part. Your strategy may differ, but this was my strategy. And how did I came upon it? I analyzed, I would say 10 marks of each, 10 SIM cards, 10 dash cards for up to 50 marks, I analyzed it that RCs were my spend and I would score in RCs only. So I used to attempt RCs with my full thought and I used to spend across 35 minutes on RCs only. So, so this will come as you prepare your analysis part. Do your analysis and see what will, what likes you and what you can do more about it. So coming on to the last topic, that is LRDI part. So this may seem a small Excel, but let me remind you, this small Excel has more, I would say hard work, more info than other to combine. Because as in my LRDI, I would have this concept that there are different genres, arrangement, missing table, tournaments, games, Venn diagram. So before analyzing, I used to guess which type of genre it is. Like, there's a set given and what type of genre it is because uh, the recording style of the uh, question changes according to genre. So if there is an arrangement, then I knew that I have to do this type of processing in my mind and I have to write this type of things. 
So I wrote number of sets. So usually four sets are there and how I attempted. So attempted here means that I was able to go through how many sets. So four, three, three, two, something like that and all. So score and all that. The main thing that comes is guessing that genre and if I'm comfortable with genre or not. So with going to this 15 marks, I found out arrangements, missing table, games, tournaments, and puzzles. These were my strong suits. So in my, I would say in my CAT exam also, I scanned all the five, four sets and just check it out if there is any arrangement question, games, tournament, network. So there was, I think, so one question and I started with that only. And second was missing table. I did that. So it was, it went very smooth LA part in my actual CAT exam. And why it went smooth? It went smooth because of this analysis part that I had done. And I was sure that I would be able to, so you can see the win. So you can see comments five minutes. So you can see, I did this win diagram in my SIM, SIM card 15 in five minutes only. So what it supplied me, I had now 35 minutes for three sets and trust me, it's very, very confident booster that I had this, I would say four, four would be there, the Venn diagram, 11 marks. So yeah, no, sorry, lecture. sorry, there was not a specific question. So yeah, this very much Venn diagram, I was very much okay. And mapping code, so see, this took me 60 minutes. So this was my weakness part. So I was able to overcome it. Arrangement nine minutes, missing table, 20 minutes. So this was my missing part. I have to revise it again and again. So, and again, I wrote this thing that which one is, so you can see here, sync at seven weaknesses calculation. I was very much slow in my calculation or I did wrong calculations. So I did set two, basically second set four times. So let me show you, I would have written something. I am pretty sure about sync at seven set number two. So yeah, see, it is in 24 minutes. So I gave 24 minutes this particular set, which should not be the case. <laughs> so I, after that thing happened, I made a cutoff time of eight minutes to revise the sets. If in eight minutes, I'm not able to get that set, I would leave that set and move to the other, other set. So yeah, so this was my Excel sheets and my data set, my data mining, you can say that I maintained throughout my CAD journey. And trust me, uh, it gave me a booster because you can say you are good in mathematics, you're going in VRC, you are good in LRDI part. But if there is not any data with you that you are able to perform good or perform better, there could be a consequences that you are not able to perform on D-Day. So this was my sheet and thank you for your time. Thanks.